All countries have their markets and have had for centuries. The idea of a floating market, however, one that depends on water and movement, seems to be an Asian concept, very popular throughout Thailand. And now there's one right here in Pattaya. It's proving to be a wonderful tourist destination and people come here to see just what a traditional floating market can look like at its very best. There's so much of interest here, and Klaus, you're a spokesman for the organization behind the floating market. That's right. I know the family for quite long. I'm a good friend to the family and the founder. And so I'm here to observe and advise something of its Western mind and Western view. <laughs> I hope you're seeing quite a few foreign tourists, that is, people like us coming through, are you? Oh yes, we have visitors from all over the world at the moment. This place is open just for five months and it's astonished that we have travelers from all over the world in that short time, in that high volume. A floating market is a very attractive place just by its nature, isn't it? Do you know why it is that floating markets are part of the history of Thailand? Sure. In the old time, the daily market life was conducted beside the water. They have no gasoline, they have no trucks, so what they have to use are boats. And boats usually should drive or go along in the water. On the street they are useless. <laughs> so um, the idea behind this project was to conserve Thai culture and Thai heritage, the real water life of Thailand, conducted in the old way. Uh, it's divided into the four regions of Thailand, the north, the south, Isan and the central. And everything you can find here native to these regions, cultural shows, um, fashion, handicrafts, items very rare to find elsewhere. Mm. The museum that's right behind us here, what kinds of things do they present? I think the most impressive one is the image of Ganesha, the god of arts and something else, or the elephant god. Um, this you will see here also very rare products made out of old teak. There are some uh, items older than 200 years and all is made on teak handcrafted. Plus, I imagine that uh, the positions rowing the boats and selling from the canoe-like boats would have been popular positions too. <laughs> That's right. We are here in the northern region at the moment, but these boat vendors are in all of the four regions, about 80 of them. And they're selling their local food, traditional to the area or the region where they're coming from. And it's really inexpensive, 20 baht, 30 baht, and it's delicious, believe me. Yeah. yeah. So the people selling things from the boats, are they products that belong to them to sell, or are they doing it on behalf of the organization here? No, no, they, they, they do it on themselves. They, they buy, they go to the market, they prepare, they cook, and of course they sell it and they have the profit on their own. It does get very hot here though, doesn't it? But that's Thailand. That's Thailand at first, and uh, mostly in winter time, everybody is coming to Thailand due to the, hot, the, yeah. the heat, right? Yeah. Because they don't like the cold, but here we have a lot of places in the shadow. You will see it later when you walk around, and otherwise you just take an umbrella and sun umbrella uh -huh. as a shield to protect you. Yeah. Hello, are you visiting or are you residents of Thailand? No, we live here. Very good idea. Yes, it is. It's not bad. This uh, floating market has crafts from all over Thailand. So if you've got visitors, it's like a one-stop shop. They can come and see what's available mm -hmm. from everywhere. Yes. And it's, it's great and inexpensive, which is good. The floating market concept must be uh, Thailand-wide throughout the country. I think a lot of people know about it already, especially weekends. We have a lot of Thai crowd here, Thai people, but as well the visitors from all over the world. They love the delicious food which is sold by the food vendors here at the boat, the boat food vendors. 
Um, I like it as well. So when you look over there, they have som tam, which is a papaya salad yeah. for just 30 baht. They have fried fried chicken for 30 baht. Um, it's a little bit difficult for me to read. I have no glasses, but they have a gung nung. It's boiled, boiled shrimps for 50 baht. So where you can get is else and a lovely taste. So generally the prices here for food and for the various products seem to be pretty good. I think so. Reasonable and sometimes cheaper than outside of the floating market. I imagine people love to see the traditional arts when they come to the village. Pattaya Floating Market is getting a hub for artists. And this what we see here is a good sample. It's coming from the Royal uh, College for Artists for Drawings. And what we see here is a sample they did it. What we see now here are made of roots from teakwood. And I like it. So if I would buy something, maybe one or two, I would put it in my living room. This particular exhibition is so unusual, it should be very appealing to foreign visitors. Do you hope to have ongoing exhibitions of various types of traditional art here? Sure, we will do that. We will invite local artists here uh, from the area of Pattaya as well from the whole country. We give them the platform here to expose their products, paintings, whatever they do. And um, I like to say the founder of Pattaya Floating Market is very addicted to art. Well, it's a very nice day out for people of all age groups, but uh, kids have a good time here, don't they? Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> they come here very often as students or are coming with their school classes. And also we perform for them uh, special programs, yeah. dance programs. And so they're also able to learn about Thai heritage and Thai culture. Yes. A great deal of which is on show here. And the very nature of a floating market, of course, being such a, a Thai phenomenon, the way I see it. This is a big area too, isn't it? Uh, the area of Pattaya Floating Market covers roughly 100,000 square meters, 100,000, 62 rye. So um, for a long time this was farmland and a big swamp, a natural swamp. And the founder first started with a restaurant and then he got the idea to create Pattaya Floating Market. Uh, the idea behind was to show the four regions of Thailand and to preserve Thai culture and Thai heritage. And what we did happened all in one and a half year. Yes, <laughs> one and a half year. What's it like uh, for, for teams of Thai people building structures in a swamp? <laughs> <laughs> I think they really um, specialized. They came from the north, mostly in the north and in the east zone. They have the carpenters, they are able to do buildings like that. All is done from old wood. They brought it here by containers from the north, from the east, from the south. Mostly this wood was used to be in a house before. Why do you like the southern style best? Uh, the southern, because I think uh, the culture of the uh, southern part of Thailand is mixed between uh, a little bit Muslim and Thai and you know, so it's quite interesting uh, region in my opinion. Yes. yes. You like to see the different influences yes. in the culture. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think she wants to um, open to um, about opportunity with the yeah, there, the are peop there are people, the Muslim people, that uh, they're struggling because of the problem in, in the southern part of Thailand. And they, uh, they produce uh, many, many goods that they, they can't, they don't have the market to support them. And uh, so I said, okay, I will rent the shop and you can supply me your handicraft. Yeah, that, that's my main objective.
Uh, so you may come here at any time. We open in the morning, 10 o'clock. We close 9 o'clock in the evening. And during this time, all shops open. The boat vendors uh, are ready to sell their food. And also the small food stalls. Stalls, you say in English, they say food stalls. They are serving uh, delicious meals. Yes. And there's plenty of floor space too. Look, just grab a spot and uh, you're off to lunch. How can someone uh, best find out more about the floating market uh, if they're planning a visit? I think the easiest way is to check our website. It's www.pattayafloatingmarket.com. www, that would be water, 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 wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe, okay, nice idea.